there, it's Jennifer Trask, and welcome to this video on three ways to get out of a business slump. So oftentimes I find that this happens with coaches um, when they're about in 6, 12, or the 18 month period of their business. So tell me if you can relate to this. You are working really hard, you're doing everything you think you need to be doing, and it's not really working for you. And after a while, you're kind of feeling a little drained, maybe a little resentful, and you just don't have your mojo around your business anymore. So if you've ever felt like this way, or if you feel this way now, get excited because, first of all, I totally know how you feel. This has happened to me more than, more than one time. Um, I think it happens to every entrepreneur at some point in time, if not more than one time. Uh, and I discovered three things that are really helpful to get you out of your slump and back in the game to help you get better results in your business. So the first thing that you want to do when you're in a slump is you want to go back to giving with boundaries. So let me explain what I mean by this. I like to call it smart giving. So I always like to say that business and relationships are pretty much the same. So what happens when you begin a new relationship, like a new intimate, uh, a new intimate partnership? You are, you're so excited and both partners are there to give and everything's going really well. Um, and sometimes if we're, if you're not careful, um, what ends up happening is, um, all of a sudden you realize, oh my God, like, we're in a slump, like this is not as good as it used to be. And you kind of, you might again feel these same emotions. You might feel a little resentful. You feel like, oh, they need to try harder, like these types of things. And what happens is somewhere along the line, and I don't feel that there's any one moment, I think this is the type of thing that creeps up on you, just like weight can creep up on you if you're not careful with what you're eating and exercising and all that stuff. Um, so I think it creeps up on you and then one day you're kind of like, ah, oh, like I'm not really as happy in this relationship as I used to be. And oftentimes it's because your expectations are not being met of what you thought it could be. And so you're now in a slump. And the same thing happens in your business. So you're going, 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 and then your expectations have not been met. It usually comes down to sales expectations and so now you feel a little resentful, like you're not getting back what you should be getting. So this is where the problem lies. And the first way to rectify it is you've got to go back to giving. So like any relationship, if you go in a relationship to get, you're screwed. Because <laughs> any relationship where you're going to get um, is just going to be one where the other person's going to feel like you're almost sucking the life out of them. You've got to go to give, and when two people go to give, uh, then everything flourishes. Now, with your business, a business isn't a physical person that can give back to you, but you can reap the rewards of being a giver again uh, by shifting this mindset and by doing it uh, with boundaries. So. In the case of if you're going to give, and I want to give you a 90 day challenge, by the way, like a 90 day challenge from today to start doing this if you actually are in a slump, these three things. So we're going to start with this one where, okay, if you, um, you want to go to give with boundaries, which means that you're not going to give of yourself where you feel depleted again, okay? With boundaries means you give in a way that fuels you and the other person. And so what that means in terms of your business is you're going to give in a, in a smarter, more strategic way. And the next two steps that I'm going to give you are what I call smart and strategic things to do that are gonna fuel your cup to go to give. But I wanted this to be its own point so that you could realize that you're in a relationship with your business, this is you, this is your business, and if you want the relationship to flourish, you must go to give, not to get. And usually what happens when you begin the business, you're totally there to give, you're so excited about what you're passionate about, but over time, if your expectations are not met, again, a lot of times these expectations are money expectations, then you begin to feel drained, you begin to get a little resentful, you begin to wonder, is this ever gonna work? You begin to think, 
uh, is this really worth it all this time and effort, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so you're trying to now get from the business. You're trying to get the next client. You're trying to get the next sale. And the business becomes more about what you can get, not about what you can give. And so we got to flip that switch and you have to decide that you're going to go on a 90 day mission to give again. Okay. But strategically, right? With giving with boundaries. So what does that look like? Number two, this is the second thing you need to do. You need to list build. So one of the things that I think is really exciting is when you build your community because you can't keep selling to the same people. You must grow your community. So if you want to feel reinvigorated again, you want to help more people. So in order to help more people, you need to build your list. So as you are giving back to your business, Give strategically so you're list building. So what does that look like? It means make sure you're list building on your blog. Make sure that you are um, doing like challenges and webinars and um, doing, you could be doing interviews or article writing or things like that for other spaces and you have giveaways in your bio and um, maybe you're doing content for other people and you're getting featured in, in, on their blogs and in their programs and things like that. Um, there's a lot of ways to build your list, but list building is a way to give value and you're receiving at the same time because in exchange you're getting name and email, this person is coming into your world, they're going to get to be um, around your stuff more um, and uh, become an active part of your community which eventually turns into more customers and clients. So that's step number two, you've got to get back to list building. Step number three is about adding massive value. So what you really want to do here is these all work together. See how beautiful that is? They all work together. You want to go back to give with boundaries and that smart giving is list building and adding massive value. So even the activities that I just talked about in list building are adding massive value. Um, you know, you could be doing, um, you might have a Facebook group, engaging in other Facebook groups and helping people, um, doing calls with your community, uh, again, webinars, like podcasts, like any way that you can give really high value content do it. Um, write them emails, tell them stories, share case studies, um, anecdotes, things from your life, this kind of thing. Um, these, when, when you are in a slump and you shift, make that one millimeter shift to decide you're going to go back to your business to give again, like you did in the beginning and give without expectation, but give with boundaries, which is smart giving then you're going to start making smarter decisions. You're going to start getting better results, which is going to get you excited again, which is going to keep this circle of awesome going. So that's what I want you to do. If you're in a slump, I want you to remember that you have to go to give and I want you to give, but with boundaries to smart giving. Then I want you to list build like a mad woman or mad man and, <laughs> and be constantly building your list. And the, third thing that I want you to do is I want you to add massive value. Now the last thing is I want you, if you have not yet, come join our Live Your Awesomeness group and you can sign up for that below and come into, this is our, this is our private mastermind group um, and I want you to tell us in the post in the group and tell us what it is that you are going to do. Um, because, and give us your 90 days. I want you to make a 90 day goal that you're going to go out and do this for yourself because you deserve it. And the people who you're going to help need you and they really want you to do this. And you know, your bank account is going to grow because of it. I promise this stuff works. So go ahead, make sure you sign up and join our group and then come into the group post, tell us about your 90 day challenge and what you are going to do and how you're going to kick ass and how you're going to grow your list, add massive value, do it with healthy boundaries so that you're doing smart giving. And, um, I'm excited to see your results. So enjoy this. 
good luck. And also, by the way, I'd love to hear in the comments on the blog um, if there's anything that you do that helps reinvigorate you to get your juices flowing again um, in terms of your business whenever you're in a slump. And um, I'd love to hear that as well. So thanks so much for being here. If you liked this video, please do share it with your friends. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down or whatever um, and comment. And I really appreciate you being here and I look forward to seeing you in the Facebook group.